How much difference does shaft length really make? Let's find out, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. Second of all, please make sure you don't leave before you do hit that subscribe button below. Because on this channel, I bring you guys golf related content every single day. Hopefully to help you raise your game. Generally to help you lower that handicap, but mainly just to get you enjoying golf more than ever before. In today's video, I'm putting the huge question that I get asked so often to the test. How much difference does shaft length actually make? In today's video, I have a standard length seven iron shaft, I have a half an inch longer seven iron shaft, and I have a full inch longer seven iron shaft. So guys, as always, I want you to be a part of my videos. I would hit those comments below. In this video, I want you to comment below how much difference do you think half an inch is going to make to the ball flight, to the distance, to the numbers, to the spin rates, to the ball speeds. I mean, really, just comment below and let me know if you think it's gonna go much further. Technically, obviously, a longer shaft means a longer lever, which should mean more club head speed, which should, in essence, mean more distance. But is it gonna work like that? Let's find out. So guys, for this video, we are using the brand new 2019 TaylorMade P790 because, well, why not? It looks fantastic, it performs fantastic. We know this is strong lofted, we know it's a low spinning iron and we know it's gonna go a long way. So for me, it's the perfect iron to test just exactly how much difference shaft length plays. Speaking of shaft, we are using the Dynamic Gold 105S300 shaft, as I mentioned earlier, in a standard length, half an inch longer and a full inch longer. So without any further ado, that's all the pleasantries taken care of. Let's hit some shots. I'm gonna go standard length first. We're gonna hit a load of shots here. I may not show you them all, I may show you them all. Depends how many shots you want to see. You can always fast forward it, I suppose, a little bit if you want to, but I don't know why you'd do that. Because you're gonna miss out on some beautiful little ball flights with this TaylorMade P790. Standard length, so this is exactly the length I would be using or that I do use in my own irons. A great strike to start with, but it's out there. I must admit, I do always struggle to believe just how far these irons actually go. The P790s are absolute powerhouses. And just go a long way, even on miss hits. So guys, one thing I'm gonna try and do in this video to keep it as fair a test as possible is just put nice, normal swings on it. I'm not gonna try and go after any. I'm not gonna try and smash it as far as I physically can. I'm gonna play it as though I'm trying to play to a green. Usually this iron for me would go around 185 yards for a seven iron. I know, right? So how much difference is that half an inch and inch longer shaft length going to make? Interestingly enough as well, the length of the shaft doesn't just affect club head speed, it will also affect the lie angle of the clubs. So for each half an inch longer the shaft gets, the lie angle will creep more upright as well, so that may play a role in dispersion. Although we're hitting it left anyway today, so maybe it won't. Oh, that's as good a swing as I think I've done all year. Guys, also hit those comments below. Is anybody here who is watching gaming the P790? If you do enjoy watching content around the TaylorMade P790 iron, I know a lot of you do. I know it's a very popular iron and it has been a very popular iron in the last model as well, which let's be fair, there wasn't a huge difference, was there? I have done quite a lot of content around this. That one, it's still about 180 yards. Incidentally, I am playing this P790 at one degree flat lie angle, and I would normally play a bog standard standard lie angle. Bog standard standard. Yeah, that's about right. So that means that when we do go into the longer shaft, and as I mentioned earlier, the length of the shaft will affect the lie angle as well, it should still be okay for me. I shouldn't be seeing that tone massively up in the air. Great shot to finish off. So Dispersion questionable, but that's 10 shots hit with the TaylorMade P790 with the standard length Dynamic Gold 105S300 shaft. Let's now change this up. Let's add some length to it. I have got to say that club fitting carts nowadays do make tests like this so much easier. You don't have to get loads of different golf clubs. You don't have to go and buy the same golf club loads of times. Just simply take the head off and change it up to exactly how you want it. So this is now the half an inch longer shaft, if I can find the thread there. This is now the half an inch longer shaft. How much difference is there gonna be? Is there gonna be a big difference or will there be no difference at all? To be honest, 
I'm expecting this to be a little different, a teeny tiny difference. Also, other wrenches are available, but this one just was at hand. Okay, so plus half an inch, standing at it, it feels, well, it, it feels, not gonna lie guys, it feels half an inch longer. So it's gonna be really interesting to see just how it plays. Also guys, hit those comments below, who here uses a standard length iron? Who here uses half an inch longer? Who here uses an inch longer, two inches longer? Does anyone have three inch longer irons? <whistles> Imagine that. Feels more like a six iron now. Take that for the first swing. So for people who are wondering why we would mess around with shaft length, why when custom fitting you may have a shorter shaft, you may have a longer shaft, and why some people do have standard length shafts, it's all to do with not only your height, but also how you attack the ball, your arm length, loads of different dynamic movements as well, which all take into account how often you can hit the middle of that club face there, because that is ultimately the goal of custom fitting and of shaft length. But interestingly, as you do look at shaft length, as the clubs do get longer, the sweet spot is gonna move more towards that heel, isn't it? So what I'm trying to say there is basically that shank wasn't really my fault, this club's no good for me, because it's half an inch too long. And if you believe that, you'll probably believe anything. But really, there is a little bit of science in that, I'm not just pulling your leg. That's that. Okay guys, that is now 10 shots hit with the standard length, 10 shots hit with half an inch longer, all that's left to do is hit 10 shots with an inch longer and then compare them. What are we expecting to see? I do feel like that's gone further, but I also do feel like the dispersion's nowhere near as good as the first one. And it wasn't that good on the first one either. Hmm. Okay, so we now have a full inch longer shaft in this seven iron. And the biggest feeling that I'm getting at the moment now is the difference in weight. This 7 iron feels, feels a lot heavier for some reason. Probably because there's more materials in there, but it's always nice to answer your own questions, isn't it, James? Let's carry on. 10 shots, and this feels, not gonna lie, this feels too long for me. Definitely does. Essentially more like a 5 iron shaft in here now, so give it a little bit more room. That's come out hot. That has come out very hot. And hi, let's try not to hit the hosel on one of these ones. Could be interesting. That was nearly a hosel. That was healy. Don't know why, I just feel quite clumsy with this now, like I'm not really in control of what's going on. Although, when am I ever in control of what's going on with a golf club? Very rarely, I think. Render strike. Ugh! Ugh! And yes, I am definitely putting that down to the shaft length because I hit the ground about there, to be fair. Whew. Just had to reach to get the ball from under the sofa and that extra inch shaft length helped massively. So there is a plus side to it. Nailed that one. And I must say, to be fair, I don't feel like I'm hitting a 7 iron anymore. But I do suppose that with the loft on this tailor-made P797 iron and the shaft length, which is now basically a 5 iron shaft length, it's basically a 5 iron now, is it? So should you put the mentality of a 5 iron? Potentially? I don't know. I'm not hitting the centre of that club face as often. Definitely. So I'm going to be really interested to see how much difference there is because looking at it, there's not as much difference maybe as I thought there would be. I think a lot of that might be down to ball striking, hitting the middle of the face. Here we are, that was nearly a shank again. Okay, last shot. Let's try and put a good swing on it, not a fast swing, a good swing. Nice swing, 186. So, oh, that is 10 shots hit with a standard shaft length, 10 shots hit with half an inch longer shaft, and 10 shots hit with an inch longer shaft. How much difference is there? How much difference is there in ball speed, in distance, in everything? Let's find out. So, let's take a look at the numbers initially distance. As you can see, standard length 184, plus one inch 188, and plus half an inch 190. So actually there, 
The plus half an inch has been the best club for me, and by best club I obviously mean the furthest club. Not that you would need any more distance than that with a 7 iron to be fair, because it's still absolutely mental isn't it? What about club head speed? So as you would expect actually there, the standard length club has the lowest club head speed, follow... No it doesn't. So interestingly there, the standard length club has 89.6 miles an hour, the half an inch club has 88.4 which is less than the standard length, which doesn't make any sense to me, but then the plus inch does have 91.7 coming in at the fastest club edge speed. Relating that to ball speed, that's exactly what I would expect. Standard length 121, plus half an inch 124, and it's not exactly what I would expect because I would expect, because I would expect the plus one inch to have a faster ball speed than the half an inch, but that hasn't actually happened. Here's something I would expect. So peak height in feet. The standard length shaft 115, plus half an inch 118, and plus one inch 121.5. So they are actually going in order where the longest shaft length gives me the highest ball flight. So guys, in answer to the question of this video, how much difference does shaft length actually make? The answer, when you're talking half an inch time, not a great deal. A lot of it obviously was to do with my ball striking. As you could tell, I did struggle to strike the longest shaft out of the middle of the club face. That's obviously gonna have an effect on ball speed. It's gonna have an effect on distance. It's gonna have an effect on everything. Half an inch did actually suit me better than the other two. I was quite surprised that the plus half an inch did perform better for me than the standard length because I've always played standard length. And I suppose when you say perform better, does going further by two yards, three yards, does it mean they're performing better? Mm, I'm not 100% sure. One thing I do know is you should go and get yourself fitted for your shaft length. You should definitely get yourself fitted for the lie angle on top of the shaft length because that's going to help your game. It's going to help your consistency. Obviously being up here hitting 10 shots each with each is fantastic. It's a great test, but there's no better test than being out on the golf course. And I have to admit, I would struggle massively to have shafts any longer than what I play without on the golf course because it's hard enough as it is to hit the middle of that club face. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that video. I'm James Robinson. If you have enjoyed it, please make sure you do hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already. Always leave us a like if you enjoy the content because that means the world to me. It lets me know that you know that I know, that the computer knows, that the ball knows, that everyone knows that you're enjoying the content. And that's what it's all about. Apart from that, guys, as always, I shall see you tomorrow.